How's it going everybody? My name is Nick. Welcome back to another Payday 2 build video. Today we're going over Kingpin and I think you guys will enjoy this build. Before we get started, I wanted to give a quick shout out to the guys in the Discord, specifically Drelo, Natriaf Salin, Addy, Habib's Crib, Olaf, and more. You guys are amazing and thank you so much to Dre specifically for helping me get a good grasp on Kingpin, how it functions, and sending me a plethora of builds to try out. Man, you were such a huge help. Thank you so much. If you guys are interested in a uh, Payday type Discord server, Server, where we discuss builds and everything in between, then press the link down below in the description. Anybody in the server would be happy to answer any questions you might have about builds. We even have an entire channel dedicated to builds. We'd be happy to have you in the Discord, so feel free to check that out if you're interested. One other thing I did want to mention is that you can use my code DLUX1 for up to 30% off on select G Fuel products. At the time this video is going up on this Saturday, I believe the buy one get one sale is about to come to a close as well. Uh, one of the best times to grab some G Fuel is when that's going Going on so press the link down below if you're looking for more of a healthy uh, energy drink alternative that tastes absolutely amazing get in on that buy one get one um, sale and I don't believe you can use my code with that but that's okay I really just want you guys to try out this product it is so good my personal favorite is the Elden Ring flavor called Crimson Tears it's like a crisp pear flavor and it tastes really really good so if you're not exactly sure what to get and you kind of like pear flavors check that out it is so good anyways guys that's it for me. If you haven't already liked and subscribed, it helps a ton. And leave your comments down below on what you think of the build at the end of the video. I look at every single one of my comments that I receive and I reply to almost all of them. Sometimes I miss one here or there, but I reply to most. So I appreciate you guys for all the love and support and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Hey guys, Nick here. Welcome back to another Payday 2 build video and today is episode 17 of our perk deck series and today we're going over the kingpin perk deck one perk deck that is very very good and i think most would consider in their top five strongest perk decks so first off we're going to start with an overview of the build then we're going to take a look at some weapons the skills we'll be using and the kingpin perk deck itself so to start things off with our overview we'll be using the lbv this is kind of optional and you can absolutely get away with using a two-piece suit if you wanted to use other attachments or different things that increases your concealment but lbv is a great choice we're using the first aid kit for our equipment the akimbo goliath 12g shotguns and the judge shotgun we'll obviously have the injector for our throwable since we're using King uh, kingpin and then uh, for our melee we'll be using the buzzer we don't have any melee skills there's no real reason to really bring anything else so i use the buzzer uh, in a pinch just to be able to make some hostages if i'm trying really hard and don't want to waste any ammo um, and then for our skills we have mastermind and enforcer with most of it and then zero and technician with some in ghost and fugitive we'll take a look at all that in a minute and the kingpin perk deck of course before I get started, I do want to give a quick shout out to the guys in the Discord. I'm sure I did that at the beginning, but specifically Drayload really helped me with the... Um one explaining kind of how kingpin works since he is a kingpin main and uses kingpin non-stop basically when it comes to payday um so he suggested to me a bunch of builds and i took all of that into consideration um and this is i think very very similar to one that he sent me and uh, i think even the weapons he gave me are extremely similar as well or maybe not even similar they're the exact same ones that he had suggested before so shout out to dre he's great and if you have any questions on the kingpin perk deck hop into the discord ping dre i guarantee you he'll have an answer Answer for you. If not him, then Natraf Stalin also has he's a complete encyclopedia of payday two knowledge. So if you have any questions or if you want to know anything else, come join the Discord. We've got plenty of information for you. So to start things off in the mastermind tree, we'll be using the combat medic basic, quick fix and uppers ace with inspire basic with kingpin. Uh, since we're going to have uh, whatever the duration is, like 2.5 seconds or is it like 3 seconds, something like that, they're sure virtually invincible, right? And we'll go over all of that here in just a second. But this allows us to revive a teammate without having to waste the points on Inspire Ace while still getting the benefits of being able to pick up teammates and be able to... Um, shout at them to increase reload speed and uh, increase movement speed so inspire basic is very good with kingpin now i we'll have uh, force friendship basic joker partners in crime and hostage taker ace heart hostage taker with kingpin is also very good uh, since we're going to be constantly regenerating health if you've been hurt a little bit you pop your kingpin during that time period that your kingpin is running you're also still regaining that health from hostage taker uh, it's very nice and then also having that extra 30 percent health is really important as well then we'll have stable shot basic and in the Force aside, since we're running two shotguns, we'll be using underdog basic with shotgun 
CQB and close by Ace, as well as Overkill Basic, which allows us to receive a 75% damage increase for 20 seconds when you kill an enemy with a shotgun or a saw but we're not using the saw that's very nice to have and what's really nice with the judge is having those he rounds on there to take care of shields being able to have that 75 percent increase with those he rounds works so well and i'm sure you'll understand what i mean when you see us playing in the gameplay footage then in the tank side we'll have resilience basic die hard a since we're running a uh, light ballistic vest this is really important to have or i can't say really important but it is very nice to have right it increases our armor of ballistic vest by 20 gives us a little bit of extra armor if you're not running the lbv take off die hard Haste, put something else on that you think would be more beneficial to you. Maybe, I don't know, shock and all ace if you're really struggling you can maybe find some points to re rearrange there or maybe you can get some drill skills whatever you're feeling but on this particular build we're running the lbv so having that extra armor is important uh scavenger basic to help with ammo pickup and also i don't know if i mentioned bullseye basic to help with uh you know regening that extra armor and ghosts will have duck and cover and inner pockets basic to help with concealment in there and then also uh just stamina uh we'll have second wind basic for when our armor breaks the professional optical illusions and low blow ace low blow obviously to help with critical hits since we are not at four or below detection risk um, then that means we need to be at 23 or below with ace and we are i believe we're at 20 so for our concealment so optical illusions ace helps with that it allows us to have extra concealment on silence weapons our judge is not silent since we're running he rounds on it but our primary the goliath shotguns are and so this is still beneficial i'm sure you could find a way to take this off and uh, still have enough concealment to be able to cover for it but as far as i can tell at least right now in order to have that low blow ace be able to have that crit chance we got to have that ace on there the professional is just really nice to have whenever you have silenced weapons with that extra percent weapon stability or that extra weapon stability that uh, 100 snap to zoom speed and the 12 weapon accuracy super nice and then unseen strike basic although ace is better unseen unseen strike basic is still very beneficial and you'll notice it that um we'll have that extra 35 percent critical hit chance for six seconds it's just so nice it's it's great so please give it a shot don't completely i feel like people uh see unseen strike as being very underwhelming it's really really good even the basic version is good try it out for yourself in fugitive since we're running the goliath we just have a kimbo ace to help with um having a 50 percent ammo capacity stability is reduced stability penalty sorry and nine lives ace to get us an extra down in one down all right so one thing i do want to mention about the kingpin perk deck is this is no longer obtainable at least by normal means right i do believe there's still places that you can probably purchase the scarface uh character dlc i think that's what it said uh it's the scarface character dlc i'm sure there's other places that you could find it as well as like i think there's these like random uh packs that you can buy like on ebay and stuff and sometimes it contains it they're like legacy packs or something i'm sure you guys are correct me in the comments but uh so unfortunately if you don't have kingpin i don't believe you can get it anymore unless you're just kind of lucky or willing to put out a little bit of extra money with that said if you have kingpin and you haven't tried it please try it kingpin is uh at least for me personally i didn't um treat this as like a viable perk deck that i would use i've tried it like once or twice and was like uh, it's just not for me you know i'd rather use stoic or uh, which is easier to use uh, i'd rather use stoic or i'd rather use hacker or something like that um i've been playing with kingpin for virtually a week and a half or so now or uh, maybe a little bit less than that but uh consistently just like when every heist i absolutely love it it's really good um so please give it a shot and so i'll kind of go over virtually what it is as you can see at cards three through nine you're gonna gain extra health this is all about health regen and kind of an immunity there's still some cases where you can still be like one shot or down even with your injector active so virtually what the injector does it replaces your throwable so it'll be the three key at least for me that's where i have my uh throwable the injector will heal you 75 percent of all damage taken for six seconds so it's active for six seconds injector can only be used once every 30 seconds but in card nine for every five points of health gained during the injector effect which means the amount of damage that you've taken if you've been healed five points during the injector effect while at maximum health the recharge time of the injector is reduced by one second so if you're already at maximum health take five points of damage it's going to be reduced by one second 
So that's something to note, and if you're really struggling to keep that kingpin up, maybe even before you pop kingpin, throw down a first aid kit, pick it up, pop the injector right away, and then you'll be able to shave off that time for your injector to be able to pop it again. So that's virtually what kingpin does. It's actually really simple. When I first started using it, I was kind of confused by it. One way that Drelode explained it to me uh, in the Discord was you got to think of it opposite of stoic. Stoic is after you've already been damaged, then you hit it. Whereas with kingpin, it's more of like an uh-oh button or you know maybe you're anticipating something to happen and you're going to run into a, a crowd of enemies you can pop it beforehand that's something to keep in mind it's a little bit different it is very very good so please try it out for yourself if you haven't already now for my weapons, I'm going to be using the Akimbo Goliath 12G shotguns and the Judge shotgun for our secondary. First, we'll take a look at the primary and feel free to pause to look at the uh, stats right there if you want to. I'm sure you'll see them as we're going through. For ammunition, we're going to be using the triple zero buckshot. The barrel, we're going to be using the short barrel. And the barrel extension, we're going to be using the silent killer suppressor with a concealment boost and a compact laser module. For the Judge shotgun, again, feel free to pause. We'll be looking at... Um, running the Dragon's Breath rounds, not the HE rounds, sorry, those are the explosive ones, I meant the Dragon's Breath round, I think I've been saying HE the whole time. So, Dragon's Breath round, barrel extension, not gonna have one. You could obviously put on some of these, but that is gonna affect your concealment, so just be wary when you're looking at those, that's why I don't have one on myself. For our boost, we'll be using concealment, no charm, we'll be using the compact laser module, no low receiver, no secondary sight, and no sight. So, pretty basic, but really good. And that Dragon's Breath round is really your key to taking out shields so try to make sure that you're managing that well don't go crazy you know using all the ammo in your judge keep some kind of to the side there and if you feel like you start running out of ammo in your primary then switch to the judge for a little bit maybe use about 10 15 rounds and then switch back to your primary at that point if you've you know picked up some uh ammo from the enemies that you've taken out then you should be able to be good on your uh, goliath at that point and you know pick up more ammo for your judge kind of be in that constant cycle now that we've taken a look at our weapons the overview our skills Let's go and take a look at some Death Sentence 1 Down gameplay with Kingpin. Yeah, this is the, uh, earlier today, I was playing, I was just trying to get, like, achievements done and stuff. And so I had, um, I was playing Diamond Store on d -Sod, and my power went out, like, right before I got in the van to escape. Diamond Store? power went out? Yeah, my power, we're, today it's, like, really windy or something, so the, uh, the power went out, like, as soon as... I was about to end the heist, and I was like, "Ah." Oh. Uh, plant is outdated too, right? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably is, because, I mean, it's usually fine, um, but it was, like, really windy today, so it, for some reason, the power went out for a little bit, and then it came back on. Oh, we're doing this stealth? I'm just asking. No, no. <laughs> I, don't, I was just kind of going through stuff. All right, let's just go ahead and hop down here. On the ground, all of you. Not on the ground. Damn, that's the alarm. Get ready for action. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the on the ground. The van had to leave. He'll be back soon at another location. Oh, it's the key card. Stay down on the ground, people. Oh, boy. There are the cops. Gentlemen. Oh, there are. Oh, every unit already. Yeah. The, the normal cops. Oh. All right. I didn't know about that. So early. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm just, I'm putting them up here because every time that I've played this on d side, the uh, van comes at the very back here. Yes, uh, so, I usually do this uh, stealth, so I don't know. Right. Well, yeah, I mean, I usually do it stealth too, but. We're taking so much along this. I'm, I'm okay with everything inside. What's that? 
uh, all loot or just the necessary? I'm I'm okay with anything. Oh yeah, just the uh, just the necessary. That's really all we care about. I'm so close to have all the achievements. I have only 70 left. Oh wow, that's insane. I've been farming it like crazy. You have no idea. But I have been farming the escape ones. Yeah. The escape and do some stuff like no cops and the, the park escape on the park. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, that was fun. <laughs> Four guys with turrets. Imagine how fun it was. Damn. Whoops, that's a little simmy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it can it can be uh it can be kinda rough, just depends. How many I think we I think we have enough bags, right? We need fourteen. Okay. That's what I thought. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I almost, I almost yeah. shot him. <laughs> Little things I didn't. They're coming up there. Oh, he's getting destroyed by the turret, dude. No, 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 no. Let this go. Medic is dead. Ow. Oh, all right. He's safe. He's safe now. He's safe. Good. Keep killing civvies. <laughs> I better hope I don't go into custody, so I'm not getting out. Please do, do not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. I am not getting out. I'm pretty sure I've killed three or four civvies at this point. Please do not. <laughs> <laughs> we rob it. We rob it right. Right, I'm gonna start to pick me. Three. We have three. Four. Oh, sorry, what are you doing with the bags? Four, five. Six. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're good, we're good. This is the last one. Nice. Nice. Hey. Easy peasy. Let's go. No, you have some quality food right there. Yep. But you ended up on top. That's what's important. There we go.